So when you're doing your contour, you can use any of the brushes again. If you only have this brush, you're gonna squeeze, dip in, go along. My favorite brush for contour is the um, detail hack brush or detail brush now. So this brush, I like it because it kind of just cups underneath your cheekbone. So the point of contour is to help create a little bit more definition. Right now my face is looking pretty flat. This along here can really help lift the face and then we can change angles of forehead, um, chin line, jaw line. You can contour differently depending on your face shape. I'll kind of tell you the most um, kind of common ways. Mostly we stick to the outside of our pupil and we don't come much farther this way and usually we're just up under the cheekbone. Some people like depending on their face length to try and create a bit more optical illusions to, to create different shadows on their face will contour slightly different. If you have a really high forehead you can bring your contour down a little bit further. Um, if you have a narrow forehead you'll just be kind of coming right along the hairline. And then you can come up into the temple as well along that lower jawline to sculpt it and create more of a shadow so we can hide any extra skin we might have going on there. And then as well along the nose. So the basic nose, you're gonna try and get two just on right on top of the bridge of the nose, not right beside, but right on top, you're gonna try and get two lines of contour and then one really small line with the brightening. So let's do the contour for now. I use a pretty dark color on me, even though my hair is decently blonde, I kind of have darker roots. So I use the Astoria, which I just put in here. So I'm gonna just dab into that and kind of going a little bit onto the side because I'm gonna lift up here. So right along that cheekbone, if you don't know where your cheekbone is, poke around or make your face and you're gonna see it. So I want a little bit more of the contour here. So I'm gonna come across there, just like so. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go, same thing on the other side, up in a little bit. A little bit more. Now the biggest thing people will do when they start with contours, they'll just over blend. And that's okay. They'll just have to play around a little bit. Now it's cream makeup, so if I were to take this too far, I could just go over top with my highlight again and it's just gonna kind of erase it. And then I'm gonna come across the temple and a bit up into my forehead just to try and narrow out that forehead a little bit. Now, sometimes I kind of blend as I go, but I'm just gonna put this on here and blend out after so I can show you. And then just kind of coming along just underneath I'm kind of using that excess product that I have. I have just dip in a little more. And then I can come along here to create a little bit more definition. Okay, so there's the majority of my contour on. The other area we can contour is our nose. I'm gonna use, you can use this side. I'm gonna use my blend tap because the narrower nose, so I like this brush, so I just kind of tap in. I'm gonna come up on here and just gently try and get a line just across the top of the bridge of my nose, like so. I normally use shadow on the top of my nose, but I just dipped into um, Astoria, so we're gonna use that today. And then you can just kind of close off the nose at the top, like so. 
Okay, so that's the contour. You can also do just along the bottom of your lip, just to make the lip a little bigger, or you can line your whole lip with one of the smaller ends of these brushes. But when I'm in a rush, I just kind of do this and call it a day. So there's the contour, super easy. We're gonna blend this out after um, in the next segment after I put my brightening highlight on.